I'm just about to head down to my local skate park where I'm gonna give you guys the six most important things that every skater needs to know in order to skate fast. And for every point, I'm gonna give you some exercises that you can teach yourself and do on your own in order to improve your skating. First of all, we're gonna find the correct basic position because this is the key to all skating. Secondly, we're gonna look at your weight transfer so that you can get a little more power and a little more comfortable in every stroke. After that, we're gonna go into the stroke so teach you how to push stronger to get even more speed when we fix that we're gonna have a look at the arm swing because this is an important part of skating in order to get this upper body strength into the wheels and create more speed after that we're gonna take a look at the crossovers that's the corner technique that we use so you can go fast in the turns as well as on the straightaways and then finally we're gonna check your rhythm because that's a very important thing and that is what takes you from a good fitness skater to a pro elite speed skater Thanks a lot for tuning in. You can subscribe to the channel anytime you want by clicking on the little map down there and uh, let your friends know about this if you found it to be useful. So as I walk you through these exercises, I'll do a little voiceover so I can explain what's actually going on here. First off, the position. Make sure you can touch your toes, your heels, aim for that 90 degree knee position and look forward through your eyebrows because you want to see where you're out skating. Um, and another thing here is that if you look from the front, make sure that you can fit both both fists right in between your knees so you're not falling to the inside of the skates and so that you're perfectly straight on both legs to be more stable and to develop more power here's a way you can test yourself out and try and practice this smooth weight transfer where you're really just getting better at being in that position and being stable there so the reason you want to be in that position and try and aim for that 90 degree knee angle is because you will have a longer stroke the further down you get, the lower you sit, the longer you can extend your legs and the more speed you can create. And even though it doesn't always feel like it, the lower you get, the more stable you are. As you can see here, I'll try and demonstrate that you can actually move around a lot quicker and you're more stable. The next thing we want to look at is the weight transfer. Because the more weight you can balance from side to side in between every skating stroke, the more power you can develop. As I'm showing here, you're not really getting more, a lot out of your steps when you're constantly in the middle of them. Unlike here, where you try and get the weight from one side to the other, you can really load that leg and push into the ground. And also, the longer you can stay on the top of your leg, the less of a chance you will have to slip and the more power you can get all the way through the wheels down into the ground. So the most simple way to practice this is simply by transferring your weight from one leg to the other. And if you do this correctly, you're really gonna feel how the entire body weight switches from one leg to the other and here as i'm trying to show you if i can figure it out you can lift the opposite leg up because there's no body weight on it this is the most easy way to test yourself and make sure you do this in front of a mirror if you have one because then you can check that your upper body is not flying out of position when you're on one leg another simple but really useful exercise is just to stand on one leg you won't be able to stand steady but just Hop around like I'm doing here and get a little more comfortable on just being on one leg. This is another one where you slow down the pace and really feel how you're standing on one leg with no urge to get in the other. You can also do it the other way around like I do here with some skate jumps. Once the position is set, we want to look at the pushing. The harder you push, the faster you go. Here's one drill where you can really practice that. Sit low and just aim, aim for the solid push straight to the side where you can almost hear how the ground is tearing up your wheels. Another one is the one I just showed here. We're just standing on one leg. It's a power slalom. And this one, short but effective pushing. The arm swing is really more simple than it sometimes looks. You wanna make sure you have a good arm swing so you can transfer all that power from your upper body into your skates. So try and make it look as natural as possible. Just like when you're out taking a walk on shoes, make sure they're acting together with the rest of your body. So make sure you use natural joint movements and don't try and fight that. One thing you can do to make sure they're moving correctly is to make a little loop with your thumb like I'm doing here and try and look through that hole when you're out skating. The other arm should just go back and forth so it's not too mechanical. However, you wanna make sure your core is tight so you don't get out of position. This is a wonderful drill to practice that. Move your arms as fast as you can and stay steady. The crossovers, this can be a tricky part to a lot of skaters 
because it's a very unfamiliar position to put your body in because you'll have to lean in order to make those crosses, which can be frightening to a lot of people. However, make sure you're leaning with the body and not just tilting with the shoulders. And again, the lower you get, the easier it is. As you can see here, it's really hard with stiff legs. However, if you get low, got way more mobility and it's easier to actually do it. If this is a little scary at first, you can do like I'm doing here, find a pole or a tree and use that as some counterbalance. Or if you've got a good teammate, you can hold him in the opposite hand and then dare to lean a little more than you would naturally do. Make sure not to step forward or lose the opposite leg behind. Imagine you're having a straight line connecting two front wheels like I'm showing here. This will make sure you generate more power and you're not losing position. This one is the rhythm, it's the final step towards really fast skating. So the better a rhythm you can get, the easier it is to carry speed from one stroke to another. This is also going to help you use that body weight that we practiced earlier on. As you can see here, I have a smooth recovery. I'm almost drawing a circle with my rear leg, which we call the recovery leg. Just try and keep it that way because it's going to save you a lot of energy. And this is how you manage to do the double push technique where you can generate speed without losing that much energy. One way to practice this is by making constraints. So like I just did here, I try and speed up the rhythm and here I'm slowing it down. This seems uncomfortable, but it will help you. That's it for me. I hope you like these exercises. And if you want to know what I'm up to next, remember to subscribe and share this video with all your friends if you found it to be useful. Have a lot of fun in the skates out there. Thanks for watching.